Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sid and I make videos about creating a life that I love to live. This spring and summer and really this whole year, travel is a big part of my schedule and it's a big part of how I create a life that I love to live. I love to travel so prioritizing travel is really important to me and what's also important is traveling comfortably and making sure I have the right things with me to keep me organized and to help make sure I'm enjoying my trip. So in today's video, I'm sharing my travel must-haves that can help you on your next adventure. So let's get into it. First up is luggage. If you're going somewhere, you need space to put all of your stuff. And I'm really a carry-on only person, but whether you are or aren't, I suggest something with a hard shell. Not anything super expensive to where you'll be devastated if it gets a scratch or a little dent in it, but something from a brand that you trust can deliver on its promise of any kind of warranty that it has. And it should be a piece of luggage that has the organizational style and compartments inside that you're looking for. Personally, I've been using carry-on luggage from Samsonite and that held up really well for me when I traveled to and from Copenhagen this year. And y'all, that required me traveling through like Dallas, Chicago, Finland, London. It, it went through a lot and it held up really well. It actually got really muddy when I went through the streets of Copenhagen because it was very rainy when I was there, but all of that wiped off really easily. And one reason why I really love carry-on luggage in particular is because more often than not, that piece of luggage is in my care because I don't have to check that bag. So I know that I'm not going to be super hard or super rough on my belongings. You know, I'm gonna make sure my stuff is taken care of. Next up are packing cubes. When it comes to packing, Packing cubes have been such a great organizational tool for me when I travel. I use a set that I got from Amazon. It has a lot of items with the set, different cubes of different sizes, things meant for shoes, smaller pouches that I use for like storing sanitizing wipes. It really helps with versatility and organization. So I'll usually have bottoms and pajamas in one packing cube, shirts, blouses, and bras in another packing cube, shoes in the shoe bag, you know, sanitizing items in a little pouch, everything stays organized. If you wanna see how I pack with packing cubes, check out my packing video for my trip to Copenhagen. Next up is some kind of backpack for when you travel. I love using backpacks for my personal item when on a plane and just as a secondary luggage item when I'm traveling by train or by car too. Lately, I've been using backpacks from the Bays brand and I've really been enjoying my experiences with them. I used the expandable backpack when I went to Denmark and I had a really great experience with this. I went with this one because it has a bit smaller dimensions than we're typically allowed on like United States based airlines. This one has dimensions that work really well for European airlines. It fit under the seat in front of me really well. And I also carried this around with me when I explored the city. So it was great. I love all the compartments in here. I love the organization in here. If you wanna see how I packed this, check out my video for how I packed for my trip to Denmark. Now, I also have the original backpack from Bayes and that looks like this. Um, it's a bit bigger. It opens kind of suitcase style or clamshell style in here. And I haven't officially used this yet for a trip, but I will be soon because I am traveling um, in the United States a little bit by plane. I'm traveling by car. And because this is a bit bigger, this will work for me for those kind of trips. And by bigger, I mean the dimensions of this original backpack are larger than the expandable backpack. You know, I like for my personal item or secondary luggage item to be carried on my back. I don't like for all of that weight to be on my shoulder like a duffel bag. I like for it to be distributed on my back in some way. And really when it comes to these Bay's backpacks, they have that pass through pocket in the back to where you just slip over your backpack over the, um, the luggage handle of your suitcase. So you're really not carrying it that much anyway. Now in terms of the purse to carry on your trip, I really suggest something lightweight, crossbody, something that keeps your belongings really close to your chest not you know dangling off to your side or near your hip and the unique low round mini shoulder bag would be a great option for something like that it's really convenient it's crossbody you can adjust the straps to you know hang a little further down or a little closer to your chest it comes in a lot of colors and it's just a really nice everyday bag too 
but I might like this bag from Amazon even more when it comes to a vacation. I swear by this bag when it comes to a trip. The organization inside of it is so convenient. It has pockets for all of your go-to cards, your state ID, your health insurance card, your credit cards. It has a pocket for cash and coins. It can fit my passport holder and portable charger, which we'll get into that more later. My cell phone, it can fit the essentials. And that is why I love this bag. It, when I carry this, it is a reminder for me to walk out of the hotel or wherever I am with just my essentials. If you're traveling in a way where weight matters, I highly suggest a luggage scale. They're very lightweight, they're really inexpensive, and it's just helpful to have an idea of how much your stuff weighs before someone else has to tell you how much it weighs and you might have to pay. It's really easy, you just hook this along the handle of whatever it is you're carrying, your suitcase, your backpack, whatever it is, turn the button on, lift it up off the ground a little bit and it will tell you how much your stuff weighs. You don't wanna be surprised at the airport and all of a sudden learn that your stuff weighs however much and now you have to pay this amount of money. This is also helpful when you're coming back home and maybe you shopped a little bit for souvenirs and you need an understanding of how much does all this weigh now that I've done all this shopping? Maybe now you need to figure out a different way to take things home. Maybe you buy a bigger suitcase, maybe you ship things home, or maybe you're just aware that, okay, I have to pay to get my items back home. Next up is a toiletries bag, and I swear by this one from Amazon. I love this one so much. I've used it for quite a few years now. It's been with me on a plane, on a train, in a car, I will take this everywhere because I can fit so much stuff in here and still get this to zip up. And you know, I, I really be fitting stuff in my bags when I'm packing. It's so easy to keep all of my things organized with this kind of bag. You might have one section for skincare, another for makeup items, another for makeup brushes, another for sanitizing things. It really is a great tool to have on your trip. And because it has a hook, I just hang it up every time I get somewhere. Usually there's a hook in the bathroom and it makes it just so easy to get ready for the day with everything just kind of laid out in front of you so yeah i love this thing okay now let's move on to some smaller items that really help me with organization when it comes to storing my liquids i really love pouches like these these are so handy because they're so lightweight so thin and they really curve really nicely along the sides of my tsa liquids bag and that is what i use these for because the space in that bag, that little port size bag that you have to put through TSA is so valuable. So I don't like to go for those uh, more rounded, bulkier, reusable things. I like these pouches. And you know, I don't really need to take my whole bottle of face wash when I'm with me on vacation. I just fill this up and I really have just the right amount that I need for my trip. Also small but very helpful is a jewelry organizer. I take this jewelry organizer on every trip that I have now. Honestly, I have a trip coming up so I already have this one packed and ready to go. This has space for rings, earrings, necklaces. It has, you know, the little organization that you need. I find that this is so helpful to just focus on what do I really need to take on this trip? I don't need my whole jewelry collection. I just need a few standout items or a few key items and this is really helpful with that. And really you can fit a lot in here and I often do. I will also kind of overpack this. <laughs> Next up is a cord organizer. It is really helpful to have all of your technology and cord items stored in one pouch. You know, we travel with our phone charger, our iPad charger, the charger to charge our portable charger. We also travel with our Roku sometimes and that can fit in here too. This thing is that spacious while also still being that compact. I love that this organizer has mesh compartments to keep your cords and dongles really snug and secure in there. I love that it has a pocket for you know an SD card, a SIM card. The organization is really nice in here too. So that's another reason why I love this. When you're traveling, anything can happen. So you also wanna keep a first aid kit on you because when you stay ready, you don't have to get ready, okay? I got this travel friendly first aid kit at Target. I'm sure you can find them anywhere and it comes with different size band-aids and also some cleansing wipes but I think you can fit a little more in here if you want to or if you need it to. If you need some small packages of pain reliever or antacid or anything, have those things on you that will help you survive your trip. Now, if you already know there are certain medications or vitamins that you need to take on your trip to take every day to keep you healthy, 
a small pill organizer like this is really helpful. This one's got eight compartments, six smaller ones and two larger ones. It also comes with stickers so you can label the day of the week and kind of customize this to what makes sense for you. Another helpful organizer to have is a passport holder. I think a passport is pretty easy to lose or misplace, honestly, so I think having a holder like this that's a little thicker to grab is really helpful when looking through your backpack or luggage. I mean, hopefully your passport isn't in your luggage, but you know what I mean. I love that this one obviously has storage for the passport, but it also has storage for your driver's license, your essential credit cards, your SIM card. You can place your boarding pass in here. When I was traveling to and from Europe, I definitely used this passport holder for all of those things. This is a nice tool to have, especially when going through the airport because all of those essentials are in one place. Your passport is right there when they're asking for it. Your essential travel credit card is right there. It's really organized and it's nice to have all of that in one place. Okay, so if you're traveling out of the country, be aware of the outlet situation wherever you're going because how you're used to plugging stuff in at home might not match the outlet situation wherever you're going abroad. So here are some travel plugs that my husband and I have used and have had great experiences with. I've just used this one in Europe. It's by a brand called Ventar. I got this from Amazon. It was really helpful for having my three prong outlet. I didn't take anything with me that had three prongs though. And then you have your two prong and then you have your USB connections. This was really helpful for my trip and it worked really well. And this came in a box of two of these. We also used a world travel adapter which you might want to go ahead and get something like this if you plan on traveling the world because this works well in the European Union, the United Kingdom, and the United States and Australia. So it's nice to have all of those options too. Speaking of staying connected, you also need some kind of portable charger on you when you are in another city. I don't care if you're a two hour drive away and you've been there before. I don't care if you're across the world, you need some way to keep your phone on. I really like this iWalk one because it's really lightweight. Anything lightweight that works well, I'm in love with when it comes to traveling. It fits in my travel purse really well. And you guys know I love lightweight crossbody travel bags. And I think it's a really good value for the price. Okay, now let's get into comfort because being on a plane, a train, or in a car for hours is bound to get a little uncomfortable, but there are some things that we can do to help. And one of those is getting ourselves a travel pillow. I love this one because when it's around my neck, I can snap it to keep it in place. Let's see, there we go. I can bend it to adjust it to my comfort. I just think it works really well. And when I'm not using it, when I'm just walking through an airport or whatever, I will just snap this along the loops of my backpack so it stays attached to my backpack so I don't have to carry this. And after my trip, when I come home, I take this cover off and I put it in the washing machine. So yeah, I love this thing and I will be using this again and again. Now, this option can act as a pillow because it has that, you know, traditional rectangular shape, but this is actually a blanket that is folded up to fit in this case. So if you get really cold easily or you just like to have a blanket with you when you travel, I highly suggest something like this because it can be folded up to fit in its own traveling case. For me, this is more so a car item when I'm on a car trip because you know I can throw a lot of things in a car and I'm less restricted on space in a car than I am on a plane. On the plane, I've already got my travel pillow attached to my backpack and I don't really want anything else hooked on there. So I'll go for the travel blanket in a car, but you know, whatever works for you. Another item for comfort is an eye mask, okay? Because there might be light coming from the car window. There might be light coming through the plane window. And if you wanna block it out, an eye mask is really going to be helpful with that. I actually never used to sleep with these like regularly, but ever since getting something like this for travel, I'm finding myself reaching for this at home too. I'm someone who likes to cover myself when I'm sleeping. I like to achieve some sort of darkness where possible or cover my face a little bit. So an eye mask is helpful, especially on a plane. There might be times where you can't control that window shade situation. So what you can control is giving yourself an eye mask. <laughs> Okay, sis, you also need some compression socks when you're traveling, okay? Because this isn't just about comfort, it's about health at this point because sitting down for a long period of time can really cause some issues. So you want some compression socks to help keep your blood circulating and to help decrease any potential swelling in your legs and in your ankles. When getting a new pair of compression socks, I felt like I needed to 
break them in or at least try them on during the workday or something first just to help me get used to it because I didn't want my plane trip to be the first time I wear something like this because it can take some getting used to if you're not used to wearing compression socks. So I suggest doing something similar, maybe putting them on while you're at your desk all day at work just to get a sense of how it feels. I would suggest compression socks for any kind of traveling, but especially those long travels, those long car rides, those long train rides, and especially going overseas because you're not standing up as much and you're not getting your blood flowing as much. So let the compression socks help you. Next is a pair of slippers or even some flip-flops, a dedicated pair of footwear that is meant to be with you when you travel. I don't want anything that touched the hotel floor or the Airbnb floor coming home with me and getting all over my floor. And really that wouldn't be happening because we don't wear shoes in the house, but you get what I'm saying. I'll be honest, I don't always feel like packing something like this or I don't always think that I have enough space to pack something like this. So what I'll do is I'll handle it when I get there. When I got to Copenhagen, before we even went to the hotel, we stopped in somewhere and I bought myself a pair of flip-flops and that was my like hotel flip-flop for the week. Now, you also need to stay hydrated on your travel. So if you're going somewhere where it's safe to drink the water or you can access safe drinking water in some way, have your own water bottle with you, especially going through the airports. Once you get past security, you can fill this up and you're gonna want your own water with you because the last thing you wanna experience when you are going through traveling and having an adventure is dehydration. I use an Awala water bottle, not just for traveling. This is my everyday emotional support water bottle. I drink this at my desk at work. Like I love this thing. And I love this for traveling too because the mouthpiece is covered. I don't like taking anything in public where the straw is exposed or any part of the mouthpiece where my mouth actually goes is exposed. So I really like something like this. And I love that it keeps my water cold. Last up is a random skincare item that I think is very travel friendly, and that is a sunscreen stick, or really any kind of sunscreen, but lately I'm on the stick wave because as y'all know, I'm a carry on only type of person. So anytime I can save space in my liquids bag with TSA, the better. So I can just pack this in my toiletries bag because it's not a liquid, it's not a cream. I've been using this one lately by Beauty of Joseon, if I'm saying that correctly, and anything that I'm gonna try has got to be black girl friendly. This leaves no white cast, so I've really been enjoying it. And we all should be wearing sunscreen every single day and especially when traveling because we're out and about and we're exploring different areas and that's a lot of exposure to the sun. So have something on you that keeps you protected. That's it you guys. Those are a lot of my go-to travel items that I choose from when I'm preparing for a trip. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below some of your must-have travel items. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.